Welcome to this overview of the login procedure using Azure AD for single sign-on. In this video, we'll see what the authentication and authorization procedures look like when ThingWorks is configured for single sign-on using Azure AD. In our demonstration environment, ThingWorks is the service provider, and Azure AD is functioning as both the central authentication server and the identity provider. For authorization purposes, we'll use a dummy application as the resource provider, which will simply return an image. Now let's start the login process. On the first Microsoft Azure AD login screen, I enter my email address. Because Azure AD is connected to my organization's Active Directory, when I click Next, Azure AD will redirect me to the organization's login page. In this example, we are seeing the PTC organization login page. In your case, you will see your own organization's page or an account login, such as a Google login page. I'll enter my organization login credentials and click Sign In. I'll click Yes to stay signed in. Microsoft then displays a permissions requested page. This page is prompting me to grant permissions so that ThingWorks can access information from the resource provider. I must accept the request in order for ThingWorks to access data from the resource provider. When I click Accept, I will land on a default mashup, which in this case contains the image fetched from the dummy resource provider application. This shows that my login has been authenticated successfully and I'm authorized to access the resource provider. Now I'll log in again, but this time as an administrator, so we can look at the design behind the scenes. I'll enter my administrator user credentials. Click yes to stay signed in. And now I'm logged into ThingWorks Composer. Let's look at the media entity where we've defined the resource provider connection detailing. I'll click media in the left navigation panel. From the list on the right, I'll select the media entity created for this demo. I'll click on the Configuration tab. The URL field contains the link that was used to fetch the image from the resource provider. At the bottom of the screen, in the Authorization Server Scope Settings section, we can see the scope setting. The entry here aligns with the scopes that were configured in the Azure AD portal. Now let's look at the mashup entity that we designed for our dummy resource provider. On the left, I'll navigate to Mashups, and I'll select the mashup created for this demo. This view shows the mashup on the Design tab in Composer you can see the embedded image that was displayed previously. I'll click View Mashup so that we can see a preview of the page. And here you can see the mashup with the embedded image as it appears when it's fetched from the resource provider. This concludes our demonstration. For more information and additional videos, see the PTC Identity and Access Management Help Center at the URL shown on the screen. Thanks for watching this demonstration of the login process with Azure AD.